Oh, just want to suggest that at the end of the video, you leave a comment. Yeah, yeah, we might have had a few of our ideas, you know, shot down because they were, you know, fundamentally ludicrous. Yeah, yeah, but I really think we're onto a winner with this one, you know. You might even say that we're uh, expecting great things. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah, we were looking to do a like a mini series, which would act as a prequel to uh, the classic Dickens novel, Great Expectations. A classic. You've read it, Harry. Well, well actually, no, no. Yeah. Anyway, it's going to be tactically infused with like modern enlightenments as to the you know contributing factor factors of her psychological you know discombobulation, and with that how it's connected to the male systemic, you know, overlordship and, you know, aggressive moral standards and moralizations of... Sorry, sorry, what on earth are you on about? I was going to tell the story about how Miss Havisham became such a batty old bird. You know, it's going to be like a sensitive insight into how Miss Havisham struggled, you know, in, in a patriarchal society. You know, and why? Yeah, and why she had to go to bed for the rest of her life. You know, and spoiler alert, it wasn't because she was tired. Yeah, thank you, Harry. Yeah, you know, I think it's a great idea because, you know, first of all, it helps to resurrect an old classic. I told you, classic. But it also highlights the contemporary issue of today and the oppressive attitudes towards women in society, of which I am a perfect example. Well, if the perfect example of an oppressed woman is one who lives in a $14 million mansion with staff, security, and ample options, unearned, by the way, to produce poor quality content, yet still be remunerated splendidly for it, then shouldn't we be celebrating society as one of the most progressive and emancipated possible? Well, not for the first time, Cobalt. I think you might have actually missed the point there. And as you can probably guess, I don't know... How or why exactly? So I'm going to pass you back over to Megan. Megan? I've had to work seriously hard to get where I am today, right? Twice as hard as any man would have to work. I mean, do you have any idea of the things that I've had to do to get to where I am today? I mean, I should be much more powerful than I am, much richer than I am. I should be much more influential than I am, you know, if things were balanced and fair. Cooped up in a $14 million mansion. Oh, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Oh, sorry. My mistake. I quite freely admit that I'm unpracticed at thinking like a narcissistic idiot. Oh, no problem. Uh, yeah, I think there's a gap in the market for this, you know, unique concept, right, that I've come up with. And it does two great things. It highlights pressing issues of the day, right? And it also breathes fresh life into... Dickens, you know, the definition of pale, male, and stale. Yeah, good old Harry. Uh, Harry? Harry Dickens. No, no, it's Charles Dickens. Oh, yeah, yeah. Must have been his brother. Uh, are you not at all concerned by the fact that this unique idea has already been done more than once, although perhaps not with the same level of flagrant propaganda? When? A 2012 a novel called Havisham by Ronald Frame, and 2015 a TV series called Dickensian. Oh. Oh, right. Well, we've got other ideas, you know, like a, a feature-length movie about the sinking of the Titanic. Yeah, and with a subplot about a romance between two passengers who are on the opposing ends of the socioeconomic spectrum. Yeah, well, yeah, pitch that to them, yes, pitch that. Right, so your main interest in speaking to Zuckerberg would be to acquire his support in pushing positive stories and opinions about Meghan. Yeah, and me. It's all part of a long-term strategy, right? To, like, you know, coordinate like, separate elements into, like, a synergy of progressiveness that can, like, clear a path towards what, what can only be described 
right as the promised land? Yeah, promised land. Uh, that was the video, and if you'd be kind enough to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, it would be much appreciated.